donate a new toy Good. to Toys for Tots. Santa Claus. That's my favorite commercial. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm just going to say, every year I've been doing this for about 10 years, and every year I, I promote that commercial as my favorite one, and I cry every time. I don't know why. All right, <laughs> These so are the real Santas right here. Everybody get in here close. So are we in this shot here? Yes. Everybody? More? Like you like yes. There you go. Okay. So why don't you speak your name? Because I'll make a mess of it. I'm Cass. And how are you involved in the process? I'm the assistant coordinator. I answer all the emails that you send for, to Toys for Thoughts. Wow. That's, that's got to be a pain. And our email address is t4tallentown at gmail.com. Yes. Wait, I got 18,000 Facebook friends. You don't want them getting your email address. Oh, yeah. uh, no, I'll just, uh, I'll just play it. So I'm Michael Madden with the Lehigh Valley Elite Network. Uh, Kate is actually the office manager and soon to be a licensed real estate agent. We're going to yes, encourage her to do that. Oh, but Ray Max Unlimited Real Estate in Whitehall, Pennsylvania. And her dad for years has been the central uh, push behind the Toys for uh, campaign at, here in the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania. Correct. So next, introduce yourself. Well, I'm Catherine Hacker Pammer, um, and like Michael said, my father does help out Toys for Tots every year. He did join the Marines in 1964 and has really helped out ever since. Um, our office location in Whitehall has become one of the main box drop locations for the Lehigh Valley. We are located in the center of the Lehigh Valley, as well as the warehouse that the Marines do run is an open 24 hours like our business is. So we help the Marines and double up when they aren't present in the warehouse. What we can help with accepting toys from the local businesses, picking up drop boxes, or even delivering some of those toys to the families in need that go through the Salvation Army. Okay, next up. You? The big man himself. So, uh, step in front of the camera? No. No, you're, yeah, you're all are in you the in the camera. shot? He's in the shot, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm joking, joking. So, Sergeant Bennett. So, I go by Ben. I'm the this year's Torch for Tots coordinator. And we're the Marine side of the house, so we use a lot of assistance from all our local support, and we make sure we get out in the community and show, you know, in our blues and look nice and try to get everybody to do, like, you know, support Torch for Tots and sponsors. So. More than less, I'm the uh, you know poster boy. So, <laughs> so a little behind the scenes, uh, so you see what was going on here. Uh, Kate was like, uh, "Should I go out and meet him at the door?" I'm like, "He's a marine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to storm this place." So, actually, look, you, go ahead. No, you did a little background research. So why don't you go? Uh, ahead I was just gonna say, it. actually, Toys for Tots was started out in LA in 1947. A group of Marines had distributed 5,000 toys to needy children, and back then they did take used toys as well. Um, and the next following year did go nationwide when Walt Disney actually designed the Toys for Tots logo. A lot of people don't know that it was a three train logo with the words Toys for Tots on them. Um, after that it just became a nationwide thing with the Marines helping out in their community, letting uh, the community know that they are present, helping us out. Um, and it goes from there. The thing is that Marines rely a lot on our local businesses and communities to give back to the to the community. 100% um, of the proceeds here in the Lehigh Valley remain here in the Lehigh Valley, and that's always important as well. Um, one of the things that we do do you, for a business, you can become a Dropbox location, and to do that, you can go to www.allentown-pa.toysfortots.org and enter your business there, and one of the Marines will be around to give you a Dropbox. Then come December 1st, the Marines will go to all those businesses and collect the toys in the Dropbox locations in order to fill the requests that we get from the families in the Salvation Army. Yes, and one of the things that we're going to be doing is updating you as far as what toys they are overloaded with and what toys and categories they're in need of. So right. if you can just explain a little of that how that kind of is going to work. Sure. Once um, we get the request in from, like we said, we go through the Salvation Armies, the families need to go there. Uh, one of the toys groups that we always are in need for are young children, uh, zero to one year of age. Um, we do get some requests for those. and kind of when people are donating toys, they think of basketballs or Barbies and things like that. So the so younger children we need to remind and be aware of. And also girls age 9 to 12. And for that, you can give it anything like a curling iron, nail polish, makeup, uh, accessories, things like that. I always find there's a jump from when they stop playing with Barbies and they need to do uh, the cosmetic scene of things. So yeah. we like to help the Marines out filling those requests as well. Or yeah. give them too many stocks and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. And then if you can give people an idea how many you processed last year and the enormity of what goes on here. Yeah. We did 72,000 toys in 2015. So if you can imagine that number yet on its own. So uh, when you are contacting Toys for Tots, just please be patient. We will get back to all the emails and all the requests that come through the website. It just does take us uh, some time from the volunteers that are working it. Yeah, and one of the odd things that uh, you wouldn't think, I was in a, talking to her dad about it, is um, they actually have to cross out the barcodes. 
on 76,000 toys because sometimes these toys are actually returned to Toys or Tots for cash, so people are doing drugs and things like that. And I'm like, whoa, oh, well, 76,000 times you're marking out. They'll try to codes. take them back to the stores and return them. And that is one of the reasons we do give our request from the uh, Salvation Army. Each family has to do a process through there so they can collect the toys from us. So. They're definitely a big part. So they do the application through the Salvation Army, and they evaluate who you know needs toys and who's the needy civilians out there, so that we don't end up giving toys to people who don't need them in a sense. You know, people who can provide for their children or whatnot. You know, I gotta look at the camera, right? Yeah. No, you do good. No, you got something to say back there. We have somebody in the audience. I do. I just want to say thank you to all of you who work so hard. I know how how much work it is. And I am a child who did receive toys oh, when I was a child. That's wonderful. And I can tell you, they were the only toys we got. So every time I think of toys for class, I want to cry. Oh. Oh, that's Thank wonderful. You. I'm so glad to hear from you. you. And and that's why we do it every year, is that feeling that you got right there from that toy. We're delivering hope to the needy children. When you think about it, it may just be a toy, but how many times can a child go through a Christmas without a gift? I mean, that's just a loss of hope right there. Um, you know, these children who are receiving these toys, they're looking up to the Marines. These are role models for them, and that's one of the other reasons we're so heavily involved. So that thank you for good, sharing. Awesome. That is a good point. Because some, some kids, that's the only Christmas they get. So, yeah. you know, a little toys means a lot to them. Absolutely. And I asked uh, Sergeant Ben here last time I interviewed him why he did it. If you want to just touch a little bit upon what it's doing for you as a person. Yeah, it makes me a little teary. But I, it, so. I want but, to cry and I want that captured on Facebook so people will see it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I enjoy the program. So when we get on uh, the station, they ask us, you know, what can you do to help the I&I &I community? Because we're a local force. So we help a lot of reservists and we help the local community. So uh, the reservists are the firemen, you know, the police officers and things like that. So we're really integrated into the community from a Marine standpoint. And then to think of it as volunteer work, it's, it's like deeply committed. So we help all the needy children. And then they came to me and asked me, hey, would you like to support the community further by helping all the children who are unfortunate? And you know, I, I didn't come from the most, you know, the, the richest family or, you know, the most successful family. So I understand how it felt to not have a Christmas. So for me, it was, it was giving somebody something that I received also. So, you know, that's enough. Yes, and then if you want to just kind of give your little background or story, um, please cry. I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. Go ahead. Um, oh, we got to get. All right. Are we good? All right. Okay. I didn't also grow up in like the most like rich family. I grew up like in Springfield, Mass, and we all my family. I remember them collecting toys. We like, we did volunteer work and we did clean up the streets of Springfield. My my dad was like a coordinator for it, so we also went up and collected toys. Um, and I also received from that toy collection because our family couldn't afford Christmas. So like this means a lot to me because it's you giving back again. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, in here, in here. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. It's all about. It's, no, that's right. It's something in its own because it's nice to give back. Never you ever receive and give somebody what I what I felt back then. Can I give you a hug? I just met yeah, her like 30 absolutely. seconds ago. You're awesome, man. I, I appreciate her. That's you know, she just came walking into this restaurant not knowing anything, and now she's in front of the camera explaining her life story here. That, that's so powerful. So, absolutely. in closing, I think it'd be important to go over some of the logistics. So, sure. this is the actual box, for those of you who can see this. So, if you can explain the process, somebody's going to email you, right? Yes. All right, come into the frame here so they see it. They so can they either send an email to the T4T Allentown at gmail.com. They can go to our website, which is www.allentown-pa.toysfortots.org. And you can request to be a donation drop box site there. And the Marines will be around to drop the box off at your site. We'll be back December 1st to pick them up. Good. Um, I also want to touch base as we're having a fundraiser. This is our largest fundraiser. It's a kickoff dance. Uh, I'll pass these flyers out as well. It's held this Saturday at the Northampton Community Center. It is the largest fundraiser that we do do. Um, there's over 500 attendees. Uh, there's a band, The Exceptions, and also DJ Mike Mittman will be there. Um, so doors open at 5.30. I do have tickets for sale. If you're interested, you can call 610-266-4004. And roughly how many people are going to be there? Over 500. Right. It's a big event. And the thing is, think of 500 business owners and people in the community that you can network with. It's, it's going to be neat. Absolutely. Right? 
It's and a then great are you turnout. gonna be there, right? Of course, we're gonna be doing color guard. Right? Seven, oh, seven yeah. p.m. right before the band comes on. Actually, the Marines are gonna be posting colors, doing the color guard. So that'll be something to see as well. And just a little oddity for me. Yesterday, I was like calling him to be here, and he's like, I gotta check with my captain. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not used to having a boss, so I'm like, I didn't even know that presence there. But yeah. did he check me out to see if I was okay? No, it was more like a like a process for terrorism or terrorism awareness and stuff like that. Oh so, yeah, you know, if they have that. a chain of command, they need to follow as well. Marines first so <laughs> right this is some awesome stuff here so for the business folks out there why you want to do this is for selfish reasons right if for marketing right can we talk about marketing <laughs> you're gonna have people coming into your business donating toys that aren't necessarily going to be there any other way okay and we're going to use this uh, information to put it out on Facebook and social media as a way to promote your business so the more you help them the more I'm going to help you and share your information with this audience that we built with the Lehigh Valley Elite Network and we'll get that out in front of a lot of people great and I just think I, I really appreciate Kate all of you for having the courage to come up here and actually get on Facebook Live, because this is kind of like, whoa, what's this? It's a whole new thing. It's only been out recently, yes. probably about six months or so. But, but it allows us to get in front of a huge audience in a way you really can't do any other way. As long as we can spread the word for Toys for Tots and that message of hope. Awesome. So thank you for crying on camera. That was very powerful. <laughs> that will get the views yeah, way up there. Good. I love it. Good job, Cass. <laughs> no, that was awesome. So we're going to sign off now so we don't make this so long that nobody else will uh, see you. My, my catchphrase. Oh, Thank you want you to say everyone. your catchphrase? Oh. For the kids. It's for the kids. Oh, yeah, let's do it all. What is it? For the kids? It's for, yeah, the, kids. for the kids. For the kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right, beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, We're everyone. signing off for now. <laughs>